Hey guys, welcome to the Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This is a game for the PlayStation 3. We're gonna go ahead and start playing this game. This is a good let's play. <laughs> of Metal Gear Solid 5. For the PlayStation. We're going to continue playing this game. I know how to beat this game. I just need to finish the game and then I'll beat the game. If I go through this door, I'll be able to go through this door. I didn't go through the door in time. So I'm gonna have to do that again, but better. This is my very first Let's Play, other than the Let's Play that I already did do before this one. It was a pretty good Let's Play, but it wasn't quite as good as this one is going to be. As soon as I beat this game, I can go ahead and beat this game. If I just shoot them, I can... I can shoot them better next time. Who needs user interface when I am the ultimate? that I have to go to. But first I'm going to kill this guy. I've played Metal Gear many times. I've beaten this game at least twice in the past five, maybe even ten days. And I have to say that it's probably my least favorite game of all time. I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys as soon as I'm done. I'm going to kill these guys. And then I'm going to kill these guys. I 
after this guy is dead, then there will be no one standing in my way. And I will become a god among men. If I transcend time and space, I may be able to defeat a video game. If I transcend good and evil, I will have surpassed even my greatest foes. If I can transcend the past, I will control the future. But only we as humans in our mortal coil can escape death. If we escape death, do we become gods? What is a god? Is a god one who has defeated humanity, who has escaped death? Only one man can answer that, and that man is God himself. I'm not normally a God, but sometimes I am on those days when I choose to become a god, I don't have any rivals. I don't have any fears. I don't have any facements. I don't have any past. I don't have any present. I don't have any future. If I didn't have a future, then who would I be in the end? In the end, all creation returns to nothingness. But do we return to the void? A snake just a pawn in some game, some bigger game that he's never even heard of before? Am I just a pawn until I transcend into godhood? Are we all just pawns? Must I shake off this mortal coil? Must I become the ultimate? I am the ultimate. Transcendence. Crime. It's the way I fly to you in my time. There'll be no one else. I am the ultimate. I am the future. I am the past. I am the present. I am, I am death, but I am also life. How do I know this? Well, it's quite obvious, really. I surpassed you. In the end, you couldn't run away from me. Try as you will. You just want immortality, don't you? 
You don't want to die. No one wants to die. I want to die. But only so that I can learn how to avoid death the next time. We all die someday. Snake knows. Snake knows how to escape death. Snake was dead once. Snake came back. I think it was around this point that he died, actually. We've seen Snake come back. What is it that the developers have discovered that causes you to shake off death like it was nothing? What is death? What is love? Baby. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Snake, after taking bullet wounds, he continues to thrive. He lives. I want to become like snake. Become like the snake. Shoot like the snake. Burn. My. Dread. <sighs> snake has surpassed humanity. Snake has surpassed death. If they all die, do they begin to truly live? If you died right now, who would you blame? Would you blame yourself? Or would you blame them? I don't know who I would blame. be myself. Sneaking through. Ruining. Ruining Ash. Showing them who I am. Showing them what I want to be. It has given me perspective. Well, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.